Hello YouTube, St. Bob here of St. Bob's YouTube channel. Um, so here we are then, we're on episode 7 of our Let's Play series and I'm uh, stood here next to my cart, property of St. Bob, woohoo. Um, so yeah, based, pretty much um, this video is just going to continue from leaving from the Industrial Strengths uh, Boot Camp Tribe and uh, we're going to start making our way to zone 904. Now I'm going to remain um, in the tribe just for now um, one reason just so that because this this zone here that we're in now is actually closer than the founders island and if you die you get if you die you get ported back to um, your tribe totem um, and if you don't have a tribe totem then you die uh, then when you die you actually get ported to um, Founders Island which is a lot further away so for now just for that reason I'm going to stay in the industrial um, strengths boot camp tribe just for that reason but what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to show you uh, local chat or tribe chat just because I don't want any private discussions in tribe chat or anything like that displayed on, on my video or anything because I don't want to uh, anybody gaining an advantage um, by you know, seeing any tribe chat or anything like that, I just don't want to, just don't want to get uh, into any sort of uh, issues. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Wow, there's a lot of baskets here. Um, let's see what happens here. We're going to start swimming, and then way hey, you can actually pull the cart with you while you swim. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, I've bunged everything into my cart. Um, we want to be going that way, northeast, um, and. As you can see, my weight has gone down. So all that there is just from what I'm wearing, which, to be fair, I could probably get rid, uh, rid of quite a lot of it, um, just to make me a little bit quicker. But I don't think it's that much of an issue. Um, and uh, we're just gonna just gonna keep on walking. And let's just see. I think it's gonna take me a while, so I might not get there um, before like a, between 20 and 30 minutes or so. It might take a might take a while, and I'll be stopping every now and again. Ooh, quick, let's get on that path over there. Uh, for people who don't know, um, there is um, this path here that you can actually create and you can actually keep building it outside of your tribe area. Uh, it's a road texture that you can actually create in the terraforming. So we'll use this because it's going in the general direction. We're actually on a cart on the road. It's actually quite a nice area this. Again, bearing in mind that these uh, trees in the background you can see are obviously uh, a lot lower graphic quality because I've turned them all down so that I don't get low FPS whilst recording so um, and obviously I've took the shadows off and everything so again just just remember that I don't want anybody thinking this is the the best quality of the game because it's it's not somebody playing this game on a on a uh, GTX 560 for example would probably it probably look like somebody's just taken a photograph or just recorded it with uh, an actual live camera but uh, so yeah here we go so let's get a move on then, shall we? Right, um, so let's just see where this road is going to take us. Uh, we're going to have to... Uh, oh, little, I think we're crossing a border here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to follow this road. Um, wait a minute, let's see actually where we are, where are we? Oh, by the lake. So, I'm going to follow this road. Just a couple of more zones. And then we're going to have to go due east, I believe. So a lovely little road they've got here, connected to all the, uh, the tribes down here. Uh, there's lovely lots of junk over there. It's like a, a crater. Right, so I'm getting sidetracked. I always do that. Just don't want to miss anything. Uh, so we're going to follow this road right through to this tribe here. Let's see what uh, Sky Camp. Hello, people of Sky Camp. Uh, I don't think I can there. Can I go over there? Can I go this way? Oh, there we go. We're getting there. It's like Krypton Factor. There we go. Ah, and that got us absolutely nowhere. Oh, I did slightly. There we go. Okay, I always find a way. 
Um, so there's a road there, so we're going to go up towards that road there. Um, we'll see where this is going to take us. I don't think zone 904 is that far away. Okay, let's see if we can rest. Can we rest whilst attached? No, we can't. Okay. So let's just get to a place where I'm not so choppy. Um, so, um, after releasing my last episode, um, I noticed that um, I did put out there a little bit of a request for new people to join my tribe once I find the place, um, which hopefully is going to be pretty soon. Um, but uh, I had quite a, quite a few people come back to me and say that they'd like to join, so that's fantastic, that's great news. And yes, anybody that's asked to join, um, you will obviously be accepted as long as you're semi-serious and you're, and you're active. Um, then absolutely but uh, what I want to do is actually find a place to set up my camp first um, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll look at uh, getting people over once I've got um, a totem down if I die in transit and if you die in transit um, then at least you'll be you know you've got a safe port back um, I do kinda wanna do it legit as well I don't wanna do the old well join my tribe let's kill each other let's jump off some cliffs until we die and then get death ported back to our totem because to me slightly that it's kind of like it's not cheating because it is a mechanic that's in the game at the moment but it's kind of like using it for what it's probably not intended for um, a quick transport bike and I don't really want to do that so I do want to do it legit and I do want to run all the way over to you to come and collect you with my cart in hand and give you a hand and escort you back to back to the tribe location because I think you know try and play this as true as possible uh, without using any sort of uh, workarounds or anything like that. This is quite a cool place to have a have a tribe. Oh, that's awesome. That's a cool place. That is actually really cool because I mean they've got like personally I, yeah that's quite good I like that you've got a massive runway up there. Whoa dense forest someone needs, someone needs to do clear cutting right um, so what we want to do is we do want to stay uh, in this general direction stay on the road as well because if you don't know this road texture this asphalt um, and this normal like uh, paving here uh, this uh, orangey paving and this, and this grey paving uh, increases your run speed when you're on it um, so a little tip for you guys if you're allied with any nearby tribes it helps and it is beneficial to create roads between between tribes um, because it does get you to the places much much quicker um, right okay so I think we're gonna go this way and then we'll try and turn right um, just over here and eventually uh, I'm not sure if people actually realized or saw the uh, post that Jordy made there will be a limit to how deep carts can go through in water uh, so right now there's no limit you can go across the lake with your cart in hand and you'll be not you know not be restricted in any oh hello in any way whatsoever they're massive they look like they could eat me for lunch um, yeah so there's, there's, there's no restrictions at the moment for um, traveling with your cart across water but there will be so people are going to have to create um, bridges and such and that was one of my first ideas was to create a toll bridge if you remember back in episode one and two I talked about that quite a lot and that'd be something still quite cool to do so I might I might have that in mind when I um, I'm not gonna get up there am I no I didn't think I was uh, so yeah I might have that in mind when I create my my tribe um, hopefully have it somewhere where we can reproduce the toll bridge uh, well produce the toll bridge feature that I thought would be cool um, but also somewhere nice and flat so uh, it's going to take me a while to find it but once I do find it I'll contact the people that have asked to join and we can we can take it from there oh come on really really Oh dear, I think I'm stuck. Let's drop my cart. You can't do that here. Oh, I am really stuck, aren't I? I am seriously, majorly stuck. 
Hmm. Well, serves me right for going across somebody's tribe area. Um, let's go slash unstuck. Aha! It works. There we go. Whew, that was close. Right, so we need to be a bit more careful now. That was almost a serious goner. Um, ah, there we go. We can get around here. Um, I think. Can we? I think so. I think so. Can we? Yes, there we go. Um, so we need to get around here now. It's just going to turn into a right hardship to try and gonna have to go this way, this way, this way. Okay. Go back on the road again. Let me just get off my let's rest. So pretty much that's what I want to do. I'm gonna find my next place. We're in zone seven eight one. Um and I, I do have a map so I will keep checking the map. We're in zone seven eight one and it's a couple of zones to the east. I think we'll probably get to uh, eight eight something and then and then go north I don't know we'll well, we'll get there anyway it's, it's, it's quite close to the mist so we'll be able to when, when we get close you'll be able to see that the actual mist itself is uh, is present and you'll be able to see be able to differentiate and hopefully we're not going to get absolutely owned by a mutant and get ported back to DDD's tribe DDT's tribe should I say so we're still in there as I said before I'm going to keep it there just in case um, I get put. I don't want to be put back to the Founders Island. It would not be good. Um, I've got plenty of water. Can the question is now: Am I able to open backpacks in the cart? Yes, it. Yes, I am. Amazing. Right. Can I eat? No. So you can't actually use anything. Um, if it's in, the, I guess not. I guess so. Let me pop it back on there. Let's open it up and let me eat something because I'm quite low on food. So yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna eat some food, eat some, drink some water, um, because if you don't already know, if you're full up on food or at least 75% full up on food and water, your uh, stamina doesn't drain as much. Well, your uh, your energy, sorry, the green bar there doesn't drain as much. So there we go. Now we've done that. I'm gonna pop that back in my truck, in my cart. And uh, we're connected, so let's uh, let's go. We've got to get round here, so we'll, we'll go straight up here. Got to be careful with trees because you can get stuck on trees. Apparently, um, it's a, like a collision issue there, so we kind of need to stay away from trees a little bit. Uh, he says going into a massive forest. Uh, oh dear! No, oh, come on, really? This is an issue. And I suppose it's a good one, really, because carts shouldn't be able to go up massive mountains or hills like that. So I guess it is a little bit more uh, realistic in terms of where carts can actually go and the restrictions it's got. Um, oh, oh dear. Oh dear, we're going to have to stay way clear of those. So until I get attacked, which I'm assuming I'm going to be getting attacked at some point, um... Can I go down the hill? Yes, you can go down a steep incline. Um, so that's fine. So as long as we can do that, then we should be okay. Um, I'm just trying to be careful. I don't want to get run. Don't want to run into any mutants just this second. I want to at least find a decent place to put my totem down first, and then uh, we're good to go. So I think we are getting pretty close now. Uh, I'm going to stop recording just because otherwise it's just going to be me travelling and it's going to take forever. Um, so what I'm going to do is when I get a bit closer to the zone, I will I will start recording again and hopefully show you um, me planting my tribe area down. So here we go. Hello YouTube, here we are, I'm back again, um, with, uh, we're actually in zone 903 now, so in the, uh, just before we broke up for, uh, to, well basically to shorten up the, the travel time that you guys had to watch, um, I was uh, I was quite a way away, and I managed now to get to 904. 
904. Um, I was 903. I'm in 904 now. Look, here we go. The green mist is now starting. Um, so we are almost to where I want to be. Um, still got some ways to go. Uh, it's going to get a little bit greener. Not going to lie. Um, over there is Pandemic's tribe, which I believe um, is kind of inactive at the moment. And that's kind of where we want to be. We want to be not clo too close to them, but uh, you know, around the area. Because if you look look at how much junk there is around here, and we can scavenge probably in peace and quiet for a, quite a while. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, what I'm actually going to do now is try and get myself to um, a good spot. I'm going to try and find a nice spot anyway. Um, I hope this is not some sort of graffiti that somebody's created. It looks like it might be. Um, a bit strange. But, oh well. Um, Okie dokie then. So we've got this map here so we can kind of tell where we're going with this map. I'm going to stick to this road here and then we're going to come back in a second when we turn this corner. Um, let's have a look. There we go. I think we're going, yes we're in the right direction now. We're going to be in the water shortly. We're in some junk now. Ah, there we go. We can start to see a little bit now. There we go. So I think we are in Pandemic's tribe now. Should we see if we can actually loot anything? I don't know if we can. No, probably not. I didn't think so. Why not? Get a nice head start already. There we go. No, nothing at all there. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Um, we're here now. We've arrived in zone 904. Um, what's left to do now is just find a nice place. So I'm going to upload this video, um, and we're going to do the next episode where we actually have to take a tour around this zone, around this area. Um, I'm wanting to stay close to the junk piles, but obviously not too close that I get a, a disadvantage of uh, scavenging by being too close. Um, and uh, I'm going to uh, we'll we'll start the episode off uh, looking around. So for now, I'm just going to end it here, and we'll continue searching, um, and then I'll start to start a new episode. So guys, for now, thanks for uh, watching and watching all my other episodes. And I shall see you next time.